In this video we're going to show you how to add payment and bank details text to your invoice layout. To start we need to open our layout within the report designer. Once you've selected your layout from the toolbar at the top click edit. This opens up the design of your invoice layout within the SATA report designer. The first step if you haven't already is to rename your layout. So to do that we just go into the report menu and then choose report properties. Here you can change the name of your layout and also the description. If we then click OK just to return to the design of the layout. You now need to find an area of your layout where you want to insert your payment and bank details text. So in our case we're going to insert it at the bottom of the layout. If there are any options that you don't use specifically on your invoice layout you may choose to remove those. So for instance we've got delivery address variables at the bottom. So we're just going to remove those to make space for our payment and bank details. It's easy to remove these from the layout, simply highlight it by clicking on the variable and then press delete on your keyboard. You then just need to repeat that for the other variables that you want to remove. Once you've got an area where you want to insert your payment terms and bank details, open the toolbox menu and then choose add text. You then simply click into the area where you want to insert your details. It's then simply a case of typing in your text. Don't worry about alignment or fonts and styles at this stage. Just click onto a blank area to deselect what you've just entered. We'll then go back to the toolbox menu. Click add text. Click back onto the layout where we want to insert that text. And then type in our terms. If you need to move the text, it's simply a case of selecting it and then either using your cursor keys to move it into position or dragging it with your mouse. It's then just a case of repeating this process to add the rest of your payment terms and bank details to your invoice layout. To save time in the demo we're now just going to jump ahead to where we've entered all of the text. At this stage we've now entered all our payment and bank details to the invoice layout. You can see we've also formatted a little bit as well. So we've done the alignment and applied some bold etc to some of the items that are on there. If you need advice on applying styles and alignment to your invoice items then you'll find more information within our help centre. The final step is to save your layout. It's always best practice from the file menu to click save as and test your layout rather than overriding your original one. So from the file menu you click save as. The save as window will automatically default to the correct folder and it's just a case of you typing in a new file name. Once you've done that click save. You'll be returned back to the invoice layout and then open the file menu and click exit. If we now just close out of the list of layouts and we'll quickly go back in preview an invoice just to test it. So with one invoice selected click print, choose the layouts folder and then select your layout. So remember it's got the new name and description so we select it and click preview. From the preview window it's just a case of scrolling down to the bottom to check the details. You may find there's a little bit of trial and error with regard to alignment so if necessary it'd just be a case of going back to highlight your layout and click edit back into the report designer and again you can align or change styles etc within the report designer. That brings us to the end of this demo, we hope you found it useful, remember if you do need any other information about any aspects of editing your layouts, there's loads of information within the Help Centre.